Hi everyone. Got another hag match for you. I do want to apologize for the random Discord sounds that are going off in this video. I'm not really sure why I didn't turn that off. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm trapping in the standard spots from my spawn point, which are like the middle of the jungle gym and that pallet. And right now I'm at a T-wall. And this is how I usually go about all of these games. I set up my first five traps relative to my spawn point as I'm patrolling the gens like a normal killer. So I, I set my fifth trap, so now I'm looking for people. I do see he doesn't run to the shack for some reason. If he had, I probably would not have pursued him, or I maybe would have trapped it and continued anyway, but... He does run to my area. <laughs> However, David sets off one of my web's traps, so... You do want to always challenge triggers. Unless you have something better to do. That will keep your web up and keep it from disappearing on you. As you can see, the trap that I set at the very beginning of the game came in handy. Even though the chase started from all the way in that corner. So yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, chase survivors that are kind of a little bit far from your web because it, it takes a, almost no time at all for them usually to make full circle of the map. Usually. Unless they get very lucky. I do see this person just took right off to an untrapped area. So I do set a trap anyway to see if I can catch them off guard returning. But I do follow this player because Nurse's Calling told me where she, where she was. Very easy down because of that. I don't know if uh, survivors really play around Nurse's Calling too much anymore. Because I don't think that a lot of killers really run the perk. I could be wrong about that though. Right there, I'm not too sure what happened. I think he just happened to set off the very edge of the trap and he was able to react in time, so he turned away and he was really far when I teleported. Sometimes dedicated servers does me mess with that if the survivor's ping is really high to the server. But I think in that case he just spawned it. Yeah, he triggered the very edge of the trap. So I do want to say, like, right here, I could have just ended the game by camping the David to his death hook. Like, I have someone on the grounds. This guy can't save. And that guy was on a gym. <laughs> like, I could have 100% just sat at the hook and made sure David died and I would have won the game. But I was feeling pretty confident, and personally I find camping kind of boring. Although I don't have any qualms doing it, I just... I don't really like doing it. Unless I have, like, a reason. With only one gen done, I, I didn't really feel like... Like camping, but... That would have been the way to win the game if I had wanted to. I'm just putting that out there because I, there are a lot of people that don't think you need a camp and slug to win, and I and I'm saying you, you really should, <laughs> if your interest is killing everyone and winning the game. So I let David go just because I wanted a longer game, and you'll see that results in me only killing two out of four. 
which doesn't matter, but but if you if you want to win, you gotta play dirty. That's just the fact of the game. But the benefit of letting the game go on longer is that you have more time to uh, experiment with the traps, do more tricks with them, and you know have you know, have fun with it. I am chasing him here because I know he's dead. But yeah, but for efficiency's sake and winning the game, I should have had him dead already. <laughs> On a big map like this, you do want to you do want to kill people pretty like right away if you can. I just found this little moment here funny. I guess the Claudette wasn't allowing Ace to heal her. So he just self-care next to her. <laughs> So I do notice I did pretty much play only on that one half of the map, the whole game. Kind of just worked out that way. Setting the uh, trap down, even at a, like a dropped pallet, or setting it down mid-chase is a good way to get the player to run away from the loop. You generally want to do that because you should never get looped as hag. I'm not sure if I lost him there or I just didn't care. I did know that he was running in the general direction of my web so I wasn't too worried about him. I spent a considerable amount of time trying to figure out where this chess player was but... But I kind of gave up on the search. One thing that I should have been doing is trapping the hooks a bit more. I tend to like setting traps further away from the hook to cover potential rescue routes and to surprise survivors, but sometimes you'll get players that just bum rush the hook regardless of the fact that you're hag, so Unless you have to counter flashlights, I would just trap directly under the hook to punish the bomb rushers. Like right here. I have almost full stacks. I saved the best for last. If I had a trap right at the hook, I could have just kept him on the hook and downed her. And that would have probably won me the game too. Because now, I down him... But I can't pick him up because DS. So yeah, I've uh, said in the past to not trap directly under the hook. And I think that's probably good advice for getting into the mindset of predicting what approaches survivors are going to take for any action. But as you can see from this game, it is in your best interest to trap directly under the hook in uh, most cases. I think I do lose track of Claudette, and I'm just looking for the the last player now. I was I assumed that he would be just working on one of the generators to activate adrenaline. 
what she seemed to be doing on this generator, but he actually ran off and picked up the slugs, which was which is also the smart thing to do. I do trap by the generator and then put another one nearby. Just to see if I can catch one of them off guard with one. Right now, I was just more looking for them on Nurse's Calling, and I do find them. Now, I believe I get into a really long chase with this guy, yeah. Right there, he just barely avoided the two traps I had set there, which which can happen. You just sometimes get, get unlucky. If I had um, downed him and killed him there, that would have also won me the game. So yeah, this was like a pretty good match, just showing like all the, I guess, could have been, <laughs> and how mistakes can really alter the gameplay. Right there, I should have made him go the other way to go have him go back to Caltree. Because I kind of just gave him a free jungle gym pallet here. Like, I didn't have this back area trapped up at all. So the chase with Ace went on a lot longer due to some poor luck. And mistakes like this, like right there. There was no reason for me to teleport to that trap, and I did. So be careful about spamming your teleport key. You generally do want to wait a second and see what the player is doing before teleporting. Unless you know you can get the tele instant teleport hit, like I do here. But yeah, if I had killed this guy a little bit earlier, before that last gen was done, I could have also won the game very easily. But overall, still a fun game. And I'm sure it was more interesting for the survivors than um, just camping the David to death at the beginning. But I believe the ace was still pretty salty about it because he doesn't didn't really realize what was going on. <laughs> yeah, see there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.